Hi everyone. So it's been a hot minute since I got in front of the camera. Um, I'm, I'm having problems progressing with my legit kits. So let's talk the legit kits. So this is the progress I made. I have made more progress than this. It's just at the bottom and I don't have it um, out and pinned up and sewn together. I've got these sections sewn three by twos and I am realizing my mistake. So you might be wondering what my mistake is. For those of you who are interested in buying a legit kits, go with the color that you absolutely adore. It will make, push you to the finish line. What's my problem on this? Gray. I dislike the color gray and the whole background is this and if I would have been smart, I would have just made this a whole lot easier and made the whole background black or turquoise or something besides gray. So in the beginning, when I was doing these blocks up at the top, they weren't that bad because the pieces were big and it relatively sewed quickly. And then I got to the middle and I was like, yes, color, my favorite color, turquoise, yes. But it, as you can see, it's in there pretty sparse. So I am sewing the bottom now and the bottom is very sparse of color. And it's really, really hard to continue on this. Did I take out the UFO insurance? No. I've had this and have been working on it since mid-January and I'm disappointed in myself for not being further along. This is really stymieing my channel because I can't do this block, th this quilt with something else unless it's very small. And I've been struggling to do my quilt along box. I've been struggling to do anything because my focus needs to be on this and I can't focus on it. So my focus is all over the place. So if you're gonna get a legit kit, get one that absolutely screams your favorite color and you will have no problem finishing it. You will be excited for each piece that you sew. I am not there anymore. And I am disappointed in myself and I am very pleased with how it's coming together and I am very in awe of how this system is set up, but I just am not having it. I just, I, I'm gonna push through. I'm not gonna let this be a UFO. I'm going to continue on if I have to just do one block a weekend. And some of these, like this one, this one, I don't know how many colors is in that, but that took me a whole weekend, which that's another thing. The center of this is left and the center is very, very time consuming. I'm not going to say I'm getting bored with it, but I don't have the right setup for using a quilt kit like this of this magnitude. It is really wearing on me. I have a system set up. It works, but it's not that great. And... Can I, can it be improved upon? It can if I spend money, but I don't want to spend money on a quilt kit that I may or may not finish. I've already spent my money on the quilt kit, so I'm working it out of the cardboard box it came in, and then one of the bins that I have all the fabrics in, and then I'm still working out of the bin that I have all my papers in, and I also am doing this, hang on. So I am also using a clothes dryer and it is working, but I don't know. It's, as you can see, I don't want the pieces because you cut them and they're wonky edged like this. That is a wonky edge because you cut them as a wonky edge 
you cannot really fold the fabric up anymore. And if you fold it up, then you gotta re-iron it. That is really getting on my nerve. If I could figure out a way to use this system for how I'm doing it, this quilt would be a piece of cake. But each time I grab a fabric, I have to spray starch it and iron it, and it's getting on my nerves because I feel like it's going way too slow. Am I enjoying the process? No, I like to sew fast. I like to be a speed demon, and this has totally stymied me now for three months, and I don't like it. So for any of you who have any suggestions on how I should proceed with this, let me know in the comments. Um, it's totally messing up everything. Should I just put it away and just let it become a UFO? Or should I take it out at specific times and schedule a time that I have to work on it? I, there, it's impossible to work on this daily. Because I... And it's a speed race because we are almost in Texas to the time of year where I have to start turning on my air conditioner. I have two window units. My house has old wiring. I cannot run my iron, which has lots of watts of power. I cannot run my vacuum at the same time that I'm running my other cooling appliances. So I, I feel like I'm rushed to get this done. Maybe I get as far as I go and then I put it away till fall when it cools back off. And maybe then it will renew my interest in it. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it anymore. Can any of you sympathize with me? It's just, I would love to take this to a retreat and work on it and get it done. I think I could do that. Would I get bored doing it? Yes, yes I would. I don't, I'm not going to a retreat. Uh, I think that they're ridiculously priced. I think that what I need to do is get out of town, take pack my bags, go to a hotel room with all my sewing crap, and sew away from the family. Because I have way too many interruptions here. I have one child who just loves to just come up and, What's for supper? I'm hungry. And then you tell her what's for supper, and then 15 minutes later, what's for supper? I'm like, I already told you. They don't listen. Lots of interruptions. I get interrupted with helping my youngest go to the bathroom. I have so many interruptions. Somebody, I can't even take a nap in this house. Somebody's calling me. So, what should I do? Should I continue? Should I just call it a wash, put it away for now, and then work on it later? I already have one FPP that is bright, cheerful, and colorful that I have abandoned. And I think it's because it's slow.